spoil rotten. Just wait till he gets as big as Joe and, and you know, as hormonal and got that little stanky stank on him. <laughs> He's gonna want us to love on him. <laughs> oh, we still love on you, buddy. Yeah, I ain't give me some coveralls. Some full-fledged coveralls. He said get him some, too. I'll get you some, too. That'll work. What is going on, y'all? Jason and Brooke over here at Cog Hill Farm. And guess who is settling in and doing well? Y'all look at Mildred in that house. Ain't she something? Hey, baby. What's up, Momo? Hey. What you What's doing? up, buddy? Oh, goodness. Big mama. Capri is definitely pregnant. Mo and Paris have become the best of friends. They have. They've been, they bonded really, really well. Mo is, he's a little unsure of the dogs. Yeah. When they come by on the outside of the fence, he always gives himself a little, little stutter step, but uh -huh. we know there's, there's no issue with the dogs, but right. he doesn't right. because he's not used to being around dogs. You're so sweet, baby. Yeah. yeah. And he's got this little cry that's so sweet. It is different than everybody this else. This little one. It is, it's like a whimper. Yeah, you so sweet, baby. Unlike Paris, who yells. Oh, <laughs> gosh. It seems like. Paris got mm. the vocal cords of the crew. Man, does she. Of Goodness the crew. Goodness gracious. But he's eating well. Yes. He's drinking well. Yes. He's uh, staying in the hut. It rained yes. the first evening he was here, and we came out here to check on him because we wanted to make sure all was well when it was raining. Goats, of course, don't like rain. Right. And he was in the hut with the others, so no issues. No issues. Hey, Miss Mildred. Yeah, he's a baby, isn't he? He is he's a baby. He's a baby. He's a sweet baby. Are you a baby? She is. You're a big baby, aren't you? Know you know what? Paris turns one this this week. It may be, I don't think it's today, I think it's tomorrow. But well, Paris is one year old. Happy birthday, Paris. Can you believe that? Can y'all believe Paris is one? It seems just like yesterday when she was born. I mean, just like yesterday she was born. Mildred likes everybody. Yes, yeah, she does. You know who else likes everybody? Bootsy. Bootsy, oh my goodness. And look, look who's back here. What are you doing, Mo? What are you doing, sweet boy? Hmm? What, what happened to uh, Bootsy's collar? We gotta put it back on, don't we? I, I have a pink one. I think that's hers. But why is it off? It comes off. At one point, I thought I was gonna put this one on Mildred. Uh huh. She'll, she'll let me put it around her nose, but she didn't know about me going over All her neck. Around her. And these can be used for cows just yeah. as much as they can for goats. Do you think that was, that's awful big to be? No, I adjusted it to go around Mildred. I know, but I don't think, if you make it smaller, you're gonna have a long piece No, you're on. right, because I ordered this specifically for, for Mildred. Mildred. And you know who else doesn't have a collar? Capri. Paris. Paris. Yeah, Paris don't have one either. You want it, baby? Maybe undo it. You lay it well, on it's so hard to get it uh, okay. done. I got you. Oh, you got it. No. No. We gotta get Momo one. All right, so here's, here it is undone. Okay. <laughs> it looks beautiful, but it's almost too small. It is almost too small. <laughs> she said, that's not for me. <laughs> but she looks so pretty. Look. Just think, if you had this on, I could walk you around outside and down the road. What would they think if they saw me walking a cow down the road? Better yet, riding it. <laughs> she's, she's stout enough for me to ride, that's oh, yeah. for sure. You could definitely you ride You want her. it back on? And the goats it. don't mind it. Oh, they, it's just part of their... Just part of their attire. Yeah. 
Oh, goodness. We said he was not very loud. He got loud then. He did. Now, Mildred, that's silly. You want it off, and then you want it on. Now, look at Bootsy. That's definitely not Bootsy's. <laughs> That one, that would, that would even go around Bootsy's big old belly. I don't know about that. You keep coming back. You like it? And it's breakaway. Yeah, these collars are specific for livestock, mainly goats. <laughs> Bootsy pulled it off. <laughs> and See, Mildred's not a goat. And a lot of y'all ask about them from time to time, and we've got them on there just mainly for looks. But most of your dairy farmers use them because they can mark their goat herds with them with the colors. That's right. You know who you've milked, who you hatting, and who's been vaccinated, and or who, who hatting. Yeah, or I'm sure they do it with, like, who's been bred, who hasn't, and there's all kinds of stuff that they can And if do you with just Google, Google, Google. Google. If you will just Google goat collar, yeah. it comes up. Right. And it's just a plastic chain with a link that's breakable. I see you guys have gotten the waters dirty already today. I've already been in here and I know cleaned everything up. I know. <clears throat> but I will say this. Number one, I was doing the double bowl when the ducks were getting in there, and they got smart and figured the double bowl out. But what they ain't figured out yet is that. Yeah. The cattle panel over the water, the ducks cannot, they, they can't get it. So that has worked out perfectly. And that, I did that a long time ago, too. I tell you what I have found that Mo does. What? So, Mary Carl and I frequent this area next door, uh -huh. going back and forth, pigeons, whatever. Uh huh. And oh, when he sees Mildred. us, he lets out a whimper every time. Oh yeah. Cause he wants to see us. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He loves people. Look at his little mustache. I love it. Y'all see his little mustache? Let's show y'all some features about old Mo. But see his little mustache? Y'all see it? And he's got little knee pads on. He's got this cool feature here on his eye. So he has got some really, really beautiful markings. You do, buddy. But I really like your mustache. You yeah. know what my favorite is? What's that? His ears being that little gray color. Yeah, his ears do have that. He said, gray that color. felt good. Do it again. <laughs> Y'all look behind me. This is what I'm dealing with right here. She's been around the goats too long. Goodness gracious, Mildred. She said she's going to undo your overalls. Don't undo my overalls. This is a family channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Mildred? She's just scratching her head. Oh, goodness. Goodness. <laughs> You're going to push me over. She did push me over a minute ago. She's silly, ain't she, Mo? Hmm? Miss Mildred's silly. Mildred. He's fixing, she's fixing to get your hat off. You want to wear it? She's licking your head. Goodness gracious, girl. Ah! <laughs> Whoever thought this cow would have been like this. You know, Mildred, we bottle fed her, and then, you know, there was a period of time there, all of a sudden, she got where she didn't want to be around. You know, she wouldn't come to us or nothing. Remember that? And she was kind of standoffish. That was strange. And I'm going to tell you all the truth. I poked my lip out, <laughs> and I thought to myself, I have been the best mom I could be to you, and you treat me like this. <laughs> but look at what happened. She did a complete 360. She did. <laughs> <laughs> Mildred. She's going to do it again. Goodness, girl. Mm. Well, Mo, we sure are happy you're here, buddy. I'm so glad that you have fit in well, adjusted well, is doing good. Yeah. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. I normally would just set my camera down on the tripod and record all this, but I can't do that in a goat pen. They automatically get attracted to it. I got Bootsy over here eating my pocket. Boots. She wants a fanny pack. You can't have mine. She'd have to have a show enough big one to go around that. She fanny would. Belly Look at her got. trying to scratch her head <laughs> on me. <sighs> oh, buddy, you a so, sweetheart. So Mo is a perfect example of your goat doesn't necessarily have to be bottle fed in order yeah. to be sweet. Yeah, Mo is the perfect example of 
You don't have to bottle feed one. You can just love on it, and it will be friendly. He was very socialized yep. at Miss Judy's farm and made all the difference. All the difference in the world. We've swapped. You've got Bootsy and I've got Mildred. Oh, goodness. Mildred wants a fanny pack, too. <laughs> so I was over here loving on Mo with my back turned to Brooke, and next thing I know, she got Mildred's collar on her. <laughs> Mildred! Don't, she says she loves it. Don't you look fabulous? Yes, you do. Look at there. <laughs> oh, Mildred. You look beautiful, baby. Don't she look beautiful? You do. You just need some flowers in your hair. That'll top your cake. She says she wish she had some cake. And she don't even mind it now. No. She didn't like it when it come up around her ears. I got you. But now it's on her neck. Yeah, she don't even mind it. Well, how about that, Mildred? You're next, buddy. What color you want? Hmm? You know what? We'll look good on him. What? Black will look good, too. Black would look good. Green would be pretty. Do we have green? a green? I swear I thought we had green. Uh, Capri, I think, may be green. Capri was Capri, green. Capri, yellow, and Fifi's green. Capri's is yellow. Bose is purple. Mildred is hot pink. She's hot. Yes. You gonna give me a big old kiss? <laughs> thing here y'all spoil rotten i ain't gonna lie judy spoiled him good yes she did miss judy spoiled you good didn't he didn't she buddy hmm? spoiled rotten just wait till he gets as big as joe and and you know as hormonal and got that little stanky stank on him <laughs> he's gonna want us to love on him <laughs> oh we still love on you buddy yeah, I ain't give me some coveralls, some full-fledged coveralls. He said, get him some, too. I'll get you some, too. That'll work. Ooh, you know what? We ought to get you some pajamas, some goats in pajamas. Always are so cute. Too hot for that, though, ain't it? Yeah. What's old mac and cheese doing, huh? What you guys doing? Hanging out in the shade? I won't blame y'all. It's warm today. It is a warm one today. What we got here? Y'all got feed. I'm gonna grab us some eggs, cheese. How you doing, buddy? Huh? How you doing? Hey, ladies. How y'all doing? Hmm? How y'all doing? I know. I'm in here getting you eggs. Y'all fussing at me. But that's all right. We gotta get them, girls. Yeah. We gotta gather them on up. Restock the egg stand which is doing really, really well, y'all. Really well. I think word's gotten around here in the community that we got some amazing eggs and um, we're selling out pretty much every week. Y'all look at this thing. He done followed us out the gate. We do let him out from time to time since he's been here. He, um, he don't go nowhere. He just walks around with us. Yep. He just walks around with us. When we get our bigger pasture, that'd be really nice. Won't it, buddy? Hmm? Won't it? You wanna have a picnic on his sheet? Hmm? That's what you came home on. <laughs> All right. Collect the money and restock the egg part in here. All right. Man, we can't thank y'all enough for buying eggs from us. Uh-oh. Don't want to mess that up. Well, 
keep sticking to my fingers. Now, ha ha. Oh my gracious. I didn't know she was going to the beauty parlor too today. Well, she did, and if I stop, she lets me know about it. Does she? So she got she got some jewelry, and now she's getting her hair did. And she's not even a mama. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Mildred. <laughs> oh my gracious. Look how beautiful she is. Oh goodness, you're beautiful. She is. We'll put some fly spray on her now. Yep. Watch her when I stop. Hey, don't, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Stand here all day and brush me. You don't have anything else to do. She definitely likes it. No doubt. At some point, we gotta stop. I'm gonna go get some rags. Hey, Momo, I'm fixing to go get some rags so we can put some fly spray on Mildred. You okay? All right, he's cool. He's cool. Mildred, you look like a movie star girl. She said she prefers movies. <laughs> Mildred, you're a movie star. Oh man, you are beautiful. She's a little mad at me. She tolerated the uh, the fly fly spray wiping for a good little bit, and then she got tired of it. Okay, she's better than she was. I got ninety-five percent of her done, and she was done. She wasn't doing no more. M m m uh, Moody's the same way though, same way. All right, so we are about to get in the garden, and uh, I've been telling y'all we need to cut our flowers back. And we do, but look at the garden. Isn't that shooting on up? It's, it's up there, ain't it? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But it you know is. what? What's that? It looks like we got somebody laying down on the job. <laughs> hey, this isn't fair. Holly says she's going to sit in the shade for a second. I do got some okra here. And um, okra, this is, this is kind of immature right there, but we'll go ahead and pick that off too. All the way down. It ain't going to be enough, to, I don't think, though. Make anything with you. And look at here, we are having uh, some squash already. Look. I see that. Some zucchini. And then this afternoon, like this evening, I'm going to try to spray out here. Because you want to get ahead of the pest, I wanna right? I want to get ahead of the pest. I've already sprayed one time. I'll show you what to do. Or right, do you want to cut the okra? Uh, let's do flowers first. Okay. We got blooms on tomatoes. Look at them. That's great. Ain't that crazy? There's more, uh, more squ- Oh, look at that. Oh, I see it. It's a, it's a yellow one already. Look at that. How there's about that? There's another one. How on about that? that? One, look, the there's two of them yep. on this one. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> now, our flowers are pretty. They're really, really pretty. Look at this flower, Brooke. Oh, beautiful. All right, I hate to do this, but. And I what's really the reasoning? Why are you doing this? Because they're leggy. Okay, so what? I waited. We waited too late to plant them. But that'll fix if we cut them. It should. Um, we're gonna cut them down on down here too. I want to say. Above a leaf. Yeah, we're gonna cut it right above a leaf. Okay, so maybe Just above like the that. second leaves. Mm -hmm. And like, it's gonna split now. Okay, so this one, the second set mm -hmm. of leaves, is up kind of high. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let me show y'all right here. So I'm going to cut it right here. Just like so. Oh, and then man. Uh, we'll put them in a, They're gonna be. In a vase. And, uh, this little guy, he's 
He's beautiful, even though he's got a little curvature. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this won't be too difficult. No, this ain't gonna be bad at all. Not bad at all. Not with two of us. Just that first. All right, so this one has a bud, but no flower open yet. Go ahead. Go ahead and cut it. Because you're after the We're eliminating gonna, legginess. Right, and it's going to split. Okay. So it's going to double. Gotcha. Where we cut it, we're going to produce two flowers instead of one. Awesome. I should have done this a long time ago, but we didn't. So it is what it is. But zinnias are the gift that keeps on giving. Even if they don't have a flower on it. Cut it. We want to cut it. Believe it or not. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful bouquet. Mary Cross one. Love it. Yeah, she's, she's organizing the pantry for us right now. <laughs> she is. <laughs> what about sunflowers? Will we do anything with sunflowers? Uh, if we need something that need cutting, we can cut them. But nothing to... Nothing to prevent them being leggy. No. Okay. No. All right. Y'all can see how beautiful the sunflowers are looking. Beautiful. All right, so we got the flowers done, and later this evening, when the sun goes down or starts to go down, we'll come out here and spray with the organic spray because oh, we got some okra too. <laughs> oh, we don't want to spray during the middle of the day because it stresses the plants out real bad, and it um it's not good for the bees. So we like to do it late in the evening when they go on to bed. spray the garden. Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. We gotta go spray the garden. All right, you ready? Hmm, you ready? Let's go. Let's get this garden sprayed. Mm -hmm. All right, this is something I get asked about a lot. So today, we are going to discuss this and go over it. And I'm going to write a blog post. If you guys don't know yet, I have started a blog on our website, cockillfarm.com. If you don't know what a blog is, just say like it's a magazine article, per se. That's the best way I can put it. So it'll be a lot of how-tos and tips and tricks and stuff about gardening and our animals. And my blog is called uh, Critters and Crops, and it is on our website cockillfarm.com and I'll put I'll go over all this in it as well so that way if you guys want to refer back to what I'm telling y'all you can go there and not try to find this video but this is what I do here on Cog Hill Farm this is how I treat and try to prevent pests organically now I want to say this uh, I try to be 100% organic, the, as much as I can, but I'm not. And the thing with organic pesticides is you have to be proactive. You can't be reactive. If, if, you, if you wait until you got an issue, most of the time, organic pesticides are not going to help you, okay? They're just not. And then you're going to have to use conventional pesticides and something that's not organic or just lose everything. So that's the options that you pretty much have. So if you want to go organic, you got to stay on top of it. And this is what I do here on the farm. I use four different things and I rotate. Now, one of the four I use every time and that is neem oil. I use neem oil every time I spray, and I spray once a week, okay? Neem oil I spray every single time. Now, neem oil is also a fungicide and an insecticide. So here are the three that I rotate out every um, other time or every third time because I got three different organic pesticides here. Now, if I had to choose one, because you don't have to do this. I just do this because... 
this covers all my bases and I totally get it that if you can't afford all these or this is something you can't do, you have a hard time finding this or whatever. Um, if I had to pick just one, it will be this one right here and this is Spinosad, okay? This one right here. Uh, this one will probably take care of majority of all your pests. So if I had to pick one, I would do Spinosad plus the neem oil. Okay, now, but if you wanna do the rotation like I'm doing, is it, so like today, I'm gonna to do neem oil and spinosad, okay? Next week, I'm gonna do neem oil and BT. Next week, I'm gonna do neem oil and pyrethrin, okay? So those are the ones I use. Holly, you about ready to get the spraying girl? Yeah, me too. The main thing about spraying is, be sure you get underneath. That's where they like to hide. And spray till you get a little runoff. Or spray the entire plant the best you can. And don't forget to get underneath. Got it done, so this day next week, I'll do the whole thing again. And just to recap, I got four things that I spray. Three, I rotate. One, I spray every week. That's neem oil. Spinosad, BT, and pyrethrin, I rotate weekly. Again, I'm gonna put all this up on the website, on the blog, so if you wanna go back and look, it'll be easy for you to find. All right, little partner. I got the garden sprayed, yeah. I got the garden sprayed off, buddy. It's getting close to supper time now, ain't it, hmm? Yeah. Hey, y'all, what's going on, hmm? Look at Mildred with her hot pink collar on, yeah. Skipper Tipper, hey, Paris, Capri, Boots, <laughs> Fifi, and Miss Bo Peep. Mildred, don't tear my shirt up. Hey, buddy. I think you're going to like it here. Yeah, I do. Mildred, I'm trying to talk to little Mo. Hmm? Can I talk to Mo? Hmm? Guys? Can I? Can I talk to Mo? Huh? Y'all? Please? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Y'all be good. Yeah.